Hello, my friends. Today I am finally doing the much talked about blue eyeshadow tutorial. Um, hopefully you will stick around and see how I achieve the, I'm sorry I have the hiccups, how I achieved this look. And yeah, I just wanted to say this is definitely a more wearable blue eyeshadow look. Um, in my opinion, some people are like, no, I cannot wear blue. It's scary. Do not come near me with that. But I do feel like it's definitely like a wearable blue that you could wear to a party or an event. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Hello. I'm so sorry I've been dragging my feet with this video, but you just have to be in the right mood to wear blue. So here is my eye look. It's not like anything super spectacular, but I do think it is more of like a wearable blue look. So um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the cheeks. I was at first thinking I was going to do like She's So LA um, from Patrick Ta, but I changed my mind. I, I like the look of kind of like a baby pink cheek. And like a nude lip so I'm gonna try to get through this pretty quickly so this is the palette it is the Dior blue velvet and there are five shades I I didn't use sorry for my nails they're in terrible condition right now but I didn't use that middle shade I probably won't in this look um, but I will use the other four so you'll see what those look like I'm just gonna start with a blending brush this is the Pro Crease 27. This is a Sephora collection brush. There was a tiny bit of brown on it, but I didn't wipe it off because I feel like it kind of helped blend the crease. But I'm going in with this shade here and kind of blending that up into the crease. Yeah, it's, I don't know, blue shadows are just kind of a pain to work with sometimes. And I don't feel like this one is really any different. I do feel like you have to kind of really work with them. They're not easy to blend. You almost have to like pat it in and then just kind of like blend it up. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, you almost have to just like pat the color in and then just like I don't go crazy like I do with a nude eye where I'm just kind of like blending and doing like circular motions. It's more like a put it down where it is and just kind of pat around it to blend it. So that's the first shade. It's not really coming off super pigmented, but it is. That's what it looks like. It's kind of a nice like jean, like a denim color. So I'm going to keep going with that in the crease and sometimes I'll use the little, usually most people don't use the little um, applicators that come with the palette, but sometimes I do because I feel like it almost helps you work with the color a little bit better. So I am going to go in with just this one here and just kind of put some in the corner of the eye. Just to kind of get that deeper crease, deeper shadow in the crease down. So yeah, you can definitely see it more with this because it's definitely packed tighter, obviously, than the one that I was using. So I'm going to take it and just kind of go into my crease a little bit with it. And it's looking pretty messy right now, but you'll see I do blend it out. So I'm just kind of going further into the crease with that and I'll go back in with that brush and again just kind of pat it instead of going crazy blending. So that's what it's looking like so far. I'm going to go into that brighter blue, the one on top there. I mean this is not something I would wear obviously every day. But I do think it's a fun look to do for like a party or an event or an evening out. And generally I would wear something like a black outfit. I'm just wearing 
like a nude bodysuit, but I'd wear it with like white or black. I think it would really stand out and complement the eye. So yeah, I'm just using the applicator again because it's kind of like that dense, it's a little more dense and I like that it's kind of applying more color than if I'm just using a, a brush. I actually don't think I brought like a good packing brush, so I'm kind of happy that I have the applicator right now. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. What's new with everyone? I bought a bunch of new makeup and I was going to do that video and I was like, I literally cannot do another video without doing this one because I've been talking about it for seven years and I'm like, people probably obviously don't care about this palette anymore because it's been around for a while now, but why not? I figure it's still, it's still around. You can still get it. It's, I don't know if it's limited or if it's, um, sorry, I just added a little bit more of that kind of denimish color in the cre or in the outer corner. I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of that deeper shade in the crease. But yeah, I'm not sure if this is limited. I don't think so. But yeah, I bought a bunch of new makeup. I'll probably... Did I just... Oh my god. I had some on my hand. Kill me right now. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm going to go wipe that away and I will be right back. Sorry about that. It's kind of still there a tiny bit, but we're not going to worry about it. So I am going to go in with my eyeliner, which is the Victoria Beckham shade in Ash. It really needs to be sharpened. I feel like I'm constantly sharpening this pencil. And I'm really going to kind of darken that outer corner. So I'm going to use that deepest shade, which is like a very deep navy blue, almost leaning on black, but uh, we're going to smudge it out with that shade. These pencils are so soft that you literally touch anything with the pencil and it'll put a mark down. So you have to be kind of careful with coals because like where you put that pencil down, it's going <laughs> and it's staying. These ones you do have some time to work with it, but they're very pigmented and they will dry down. So I'm going in with that deepest shade there and I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit and kind of just deepen that outer corner as well. It's kind of coming together now. When you first start with a blue, you're like, oh my God. I remember the first time I wore this this palette, I was like, is this too 80s for me? Like, I don't know. I mean, I was born in the 80s, but... But then I saw it on other people, and I'm like, hey, this looks so good on other people. So I have to try to figure out how to get it to work for me. But... Generally, when I have done blue looks, I've done... Remember this one I did for my birthday one time and I loved it. It did like a kind of halo eye and it was so nice. But I don't know, I just, there's something about blue that's just kind of scary to people. Which I understand because I'm definitely in a comfort zone with, you know, neutrals. There's just so many beautiful neutrals that I love. And I've been really into taupe lately, as you can see <laughs> from my bodysuit. But taupe eyeshadows, like, I don't know. They've just been doing it for me. Okay, so that's what we are looking like. 
going to get a tiny, tiny bit more into the crease. And if you want to blend it out, you could either use that kind of purpley taupe shade or it's this is more purple. I prefer more like brownie taupes. But if you wanted to blend it out, you can always just grab a tiny bit of your bronzer and just kind of tie it in. But this is what we're looking like now. I'm going to just tap a little bit more of that brighter blue because I feel like sometimes it disappears a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of brighten that up a bit and then go back. This is what makeup is, just back and forth. Go back onto my eyeliner. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm going to do underneath the eye. I'm just gonna use these two shades for underneath the eye and I will put some mascara on and I will be right back. All right guys, so makeup and hair complete. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. Of course, right when I'm doing my outro. But uh, yeah, this is what the look ended up looking like. And I do feel like it's definitely a wearable look. You can for sure wear this out. If you wanted to wear it every day, give her. Um, but one thing I will say, when I was doing under the, I'm sorry, under the eye, uh, there was definitely some fallout, and blue is what I find, especially with this light, lighter, kind of more vibrant blue color. It does seem to kind of fade a little bit, so I do just add just a tiny bit more. I haven't had to, but it hasn't been on for very long, but that's just something to note. And I realized I didn't put an inner corner color on, so I'm going to use that kind of silvery tone. I'm just going to use my finger, my pinky and just kind of go in the corner with that shade. Oh, sorry. And I will swatch them for you as well. Because I don't think I did that. In fact, I know I didn't do that. But yeah, this is a very pretty palette. It's definitely something that I do not have in my collection. Am I going to wear it all the time? Well, no, but it's definitely nice to have. And like I said, I think it'd be really cute for special occasions. Okay, so that color is actually not really silver. It's actually more blue. If you look at it, it does have a blue kind of shift to it. And I'll show it to you a little more, oh my god, a little more up close. So that's that kind of denim -y color that I was talking about. And then there's that deep kind of dark. This one feels a little bit dry. Oh my goodness, drier in formula. Like you can see, it's definitely got a grayish, blacky blue tone to it. And I did have to go over that one twice. And then the last one is the taupe. This is the one that I didn't use. Mm, it is a really nice color though. Maybe I should have used it. And it does have a little shift to it. It looks like it has a little sheen. Um, I will do an up close look at the swa swatches. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. This is crazy. So I'm just going to go over those swatches one more time, <laughs> one more time with my finger and then I'll give you an up close look at what those are looking like. Huh. My goodness, does anybody else get the hiccups like often? What does this mean? It drives me crazy. But yeah, I'll show you an up close swatch of this and I just want to say thank you so much for watching you know I love you so much if you have haven't done so already please subscribe I promise I won't be hiccuping in all my videos but yeah my next video I do have a new blush I have the house labs yeah. highlighter and just some new things to try so hopefully you'll join in for that and here are the swatches so like I said it's kind of a silvery tone but it's more of a excuse me almost baby bluish and it has that kind of shimmer. 
Then there's that bright shade that I used, and then I used these three on my eyes. And then this is the one that I also did not use. Or I shouldn't say also, I did use this shade in the corner, but I did not use this one. Huh. So. E. Thank you so much. I love you guys. If you're wondering where I am, I'm actually just at my parents' house if I didn't say that already, but I love ya. Bye.